OpenAI just rolled out a major update to ChatGPT's memory. It can now reference all your past chats. If you're a pro user, you might already have access. Okay, so here's what Sam Altman posted. AI systems that get to know you over your life and become extremely useful and personalized. It rolls out today for pro and soon for plus users. You can of course opt out of this. Yeah, we'll talk about this later. Sounds super useful and it is. Context makes conversations better. That's why this memory feature can feel like magic. ChatGPT remembers your name, preferences, projects. It becomes more helpful, more personal. But yeah, there are some doubts already in the comments. What are the implications of a company knowing this much about millions or billions of people? Hmm. Now, ChatGPT's memory is a useful feature, no doubt about that. But here's the trade-off. For this to work, your chat's unjust stored. Turning on memory means your data is structured, analyzed and processed in OpenAI servers to build a profile of you. This introduces more systems and processes handling your information, which can increase the attack surface. Think of the attack surface as all the possible entry points where someone could potentially access or extract data from a system. The more components and processes involved, the more opportunities there are for vulnerabilities. So while memory enhances personalization, it also adds complexity, which can increase the risk of data exposure. So be smart about what you share. Note that you can use temporary chats that don't touch memory at all. If you're using the desktop app, simply select temporary chat from the main menu. As you can see, this chat won't appear in history or update ChatGPT's memory or be used to train our models. Yet they still keep a copy. They may keep a copy of this chat for up to 30 days. Anyways, at least it won't be used to update or use ChatGPT's memory. If you prefer the web version, click the temporary button in the upper right corner. You can also opt out of the memory feature altogether. Just click on your name, settings, personalization, reference saved memories. Here you can toggle memory on or off. And you can use manage memories to delete specific memories or clear all. For a deeper dive into AI privacy concerns, check out my earlier video where I discuss why you shouldn't type anything into ChatGPT that you wouldn't post on Reddit.